Hello, everybody. Uh, we have our suitcases. As you can see, we have a bit of a big surprise, but there's a little twist to it. You see, when we left Canada, they were only vaccinated over 60 years old and wasn't available to us. So we had to get vaccinated here in Albania. And uh, so that was all fine. They had, there was no problems or issues or anything. Once they opened it up to um, foreigners, we were able to go. Really was easy, very, very easy. But, you know, they give you the little card, says the dose number, all that good stuff, and the date, and you come back a month later, you get your other one. Um, but then we said, well, how about our travel certificate, like the, the vaccine yeah, pass sure. or passport or whatever people call. And they didn't really understand, so we had to find somebody, our economist, which is um, accountant, but in Albania you call him economist. Um, he got, got on the phone, started calling around, and uh, at first he said, Here, here's the head doctor at the hospital. I spoke to him, he's really nice. He will help you through it. Um, but then also he sent me a link saying, hey, actually, you just click this link, select non-resident. And the reason is, is they mean citizen, but it translates. Um, because we are technically residents. Yeah, we are residents, so. but um, we have no way to log into the Albania system that citizens have to be changed very soon, I'm told. Yeah. But it isn't changed now. So anyway, either way, you select it. You put in your full name and you put your uh, birth date and your cell phone number that you all provided at the time of vaccination and it will uh, produce the certificate. The problem was, is the link just kept saying, nope, no data, no data found, no data found. This was several weeks ago. Every two days I was going to the hospital, getting that doctor to help me, other people that work at the hospital. Everybody's been trying to get this situation work so that because the hospital is saying, here, here's a screenshot showing that we have all your data in there. Everything is correct. But for some reason, the system keeps saying it's not there because it's like two different systems, the e-Albania and then the health system. So we've been struggling. Yeah. Meanwhile, we had these tickets. We are all excited we're to, go. to go. And where we're going is Orlando, Florida. And we have a friend who's a performer at Universal Studios who provided us free passes for two days. And this one here is a super Harry Potter fan. Like, I don't even know fans of the word. Super fan. Let's just say super fan. Um, and so we've been really, really excited. We planned a lot of things. And then we're going to go to South Carolina and spend uh, Christmas with my brother and my mother. And so everybody's been excited. Our Christmas We've been just, plan. Yeah. Yes. But every two days, and sometimes every day, uh, I'm stuck chasing this vaccine certificate because if we don't have it, um, we, the America won't let us in. Yeah, you have to have a negative test, but you also have to have your uh, vaccinations if you're not American. So we've been struggling. We now have a whole bunch of people that have come to help us. Our landlord, her, his family is in government, and so they said, oh, let me make some calls. They're working on it. A friend of mine near the shop, he knows people that work at the health ministry. Let me get him to on it. Uh, the hospital, it was the, yeah, the head doctor for all vaccinations and COVID here in uh, Saranda has, has made calls and texting, sending pictures to them and everything. And then the girl who works in the office that has been entering all the data, uh, I don't know her position, but I, it seems that she enters everyone's uh, information in. She's been doing the same thing, chasing it up for us. What else? We have somebody else helping. The immigration. Oh yeah, went to immigration. Yeah, he. Point, yeah, he he, get, he told me what what's going on and what, uh, that kind of thing, but he couldn't help. Um, either way, we have so many angles. We angles, so many yeah, angles exactly. Coming at this problem, but and unfortunately, still... we only have one more business day, and that's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, and we have to get that certificate we have to get our uh, pcr test done 24 hours or one day before our flight at least um or at the most sorry not at the least so we're we're, we're stressed we're very very stressed we got to pack as if we're going we're gonna um our friend albano who is our also our landlord is going to drive us to the head uh capital city tarana where we will get to catch our flight but what we'll do is we're going to go directly to the vaccine offices or the head office for that kind of thing. 
And we're going to just kind of, with his help and his translation, just push. Just say, we need this. Our flight is tomorrow yeah. morning. We've gotten vaccinated. We just need an official exactly. letter that can be accepted yeah. for our vaccine-like passport, basically. That's right. And so we are kind of stuck. So we're, we're here to announce that we're going to Florida and then to South Carolina um, on a, a really fun trip. But... We can't say for sure we're going. Yeah, it's kind of like that's the goal, but we will see. In that's what we have tickets for, everything's arranged for. So I guess we're just going to have to find out how it goes. And hopefully, our next video will be us at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. The cats are making a bunch of noise right now, yeah, just sorry, playing and running away. around. Anyway, so we're going to go back to finish packing. And then try to sleep tonight, and whoo, hopefully tomorrow goes very, very good. Can be a Christmas miracle. Yeah, check out that Christmas hat. Come on. If she bobs. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We're getting in the Christmas mood. Okay, guys. Hopefully it'll be good news. Talk to you later. Bye.